all right guys welcome back to my channel please do subscribe and hit that like button it's very important so after watching manchester united being humiliated by brighton we were beaten by two goals to one i was able to identify one major problem that needs to be addressed right now because it's very very important like the sooner we address this problem the sooner we assess the situation and then find solution to it the better it's going to be for us if not we are going to struggle the whole season and mark my words we are going to struggle if this is not addressed and fixed now what is this problem that i'm talking about i'm talking about manchester united wingers i'm talking about the wingers that manchester united have most of the games these days are not being played in the in the middle most of the time the games are being played on the flanks on the wings and that is where Man United we are lacking. We do not have the wingers that make the right decision. They don't make good decisions. They don't know when to shoot. They don't know when to pass. They don't know when to cross. They don't know when to score. They don't know how to make decisions when it is time for them to. They just do anything stupid that comes into their mind. And most of it, or most of the uh, wingers we have in the United are very selfish. Marcus was for is number one, one selfish player. We have selfish players as wingers at Manchester United and that has been our biggest problem. No wonder our strikers or our wingers have not excelled for some time now. All the wingers that we have, Rashford, Ahmad, Jadon Sancho, um, Anthony, who else? Ganacho. We have five wingers. These are the five wingers that we, we use on the normal day. But tell me how many of these wingers is really, can you say, oh, we can rely on this person to make a difference? right now we cannot rely on any of these five wingers to make a difference anthony cannot make nothing he can't make anything happen ganacho once a while make the difference but it's not always rashford i'm, I'm tired of that guy uh Yeri sancho i don't think we even play for my united anymore ahmad i don't think he's like he's the right guy so we don't we don't have the strikers who are able to make the right decisions for us who are able to take bold decisions when they have to now I'm going to list some strikers or some some wingers who play for other teams who are game changers. We don't have game changers in our team. The wingers are not game changers. I'm going to mention some some wingers who play for other teams and then compare them to what we have and tell me if these names I'm going to mention, any of our players is better than them. And these names I'm going to mention, they are all game changers. They make things happen. They make a difference when they come on. Or when they start anytime they're on the page you could clearly see that they are making a difference now let's start with arsenal who is Arsenal's main player right now bukayo saka he's a left winger bukayo saka is a left winger he makes things happen for arsenal when bukayo has the ball you you can be rest assured that something is going to happen something positive is going to come out of his 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 contribution He's, he's either scoring or creating chances or assisting. He will cross, Bukayo Saka will cross when he has to. He knows how to score. He knows how to pass. He knows how to do almost everything for Arsenal. That is why Arsenal, Arsenal is uh, um, being successful right now. He is that one main guy on that left side, on that right hand side, who is making things happen for Arsenal. Bukayo Saka. Now, which of our players is better than Bukayo Saka? None. Which of our wingers is, be is better than Bukayo Saka? Nobody. Mohamed Salah for Liverpool. He makes things happen. Mohamed Salah will make things happen for Liverpool. He's a game changer for Liverpool. Which of our wingers is better than Mohamed Salah of Liverpool? Nobody. Mitoma of Brighton. Mitoma of Brighton. I'm saying it again. Mitoma of Brighton. Which of our wingers is better than Mitoma? Nobody. Phil Fording. Manchester City. Who is the best player for Manchester City right now? Phil Fordy. Who is the best player in the EPL right now? Phil Fordy. He is a left winger. He is a winger. He can score. He can assist. He can create chances. He can do almost everything. Which of our, which of our wingers is better than Phil Fordy? Nobody. Bernardo Silva. Man City. He makes things happen. He's, I mean, most of the times, he plays on the, on the right side. He's a left winger. Which of our wingers is better than him? Nobody. He makes a difference. Quarastalia, Napoli, makes a difference. Vinicius Jr., Real Madrid, different, uh, game changer. Rodrigo, Real Madrid, game changer. Mbappe, Real Madrid, game changer. 
Lame Yama, he is 17 years old. Lame Yama is 17. But he is carrying Barcelona on top of his shoulder. He is carrying Barcelona right now. He is a 17 year old kid. Lame Yama is a 17 year old kid. But he is the star boy of Barcelona. Why? Because he knows when to do the right thing. He knows when to pass. He knows when to shoot. He knows when to do anything. He doesn't just make any rough decision. Lamin Yama is 17, but he doesn't just make any wrong decision. He plays like he's so mature, but this kid is only 17 years old. And none of our wingers, none of our wingers is better than this 17 year old called Lamin Yama. Nico Williams, Atletico Madrid, Atlet, Atletico Bilbao. Nico Williams. We don't have any winger who is better than Nico Williams. Tell me if I'm wrong. And the last one is Michael, uh, Michael Olise by Munich. Now look at all these names that I've mentioned. Tell me if we have one winger. One winger who is better than any of these names that I've mentioned. Tell me if we have one, one who is better than any of these. And now all these players I've mentioned, they make things happen for their team. So, Ryan Mar I even really forgot to mention Ryan Marais, former Man City player. You see, all these wingers, all these wingers, they are game changers for their team. But United wingers are selfish. Manchester United wingers are selfish. When they get the ball, they just want to. Uh, try to dribble, score, or do anything stupid. That, would, that, that That's not productive. We saw it today. Ahmad could have scored in the first half, but he was wasteful. Marcus Rashford, wasteful. Anthony came on, what happened? Bullshit. Jerry Sancho, I don't, like I said, I don't think Jerry Sancho will ever play for Man United again. Ganacho came on. That, Ganacho is the only Man United uh, winger who I believe is better than all of them. Like, I'll, put, I'll rate him ahead of all the wingers that we have. But even with that, he doesn't. We don't see it in every game, or it doesn't even happen about seventy percent of the time. It doesn't happen. We need these performance. We need the performance of the, the players that I have mentioned to be happening each and every game. Every game when we have a winger, we should see that yes, they, they are making things happen. Like they are making positive impact. We don't have those kind of players. And that's what I'm saying, like, if my United wants to move forward, if we want to excel from the rest, for the rest of the season, we need to work on our wingers. Eric Ten Hag needs to find out that our wingers are the problem of this team. The wingers are the problems that we have in this team. They don't do nothing. They don't help in any way. And I'm going to say it again. The wingers do not help in any way. Because they, are, they don't think... They don't think when they get in front of the ball, they don't think. They just everyone wants to score. All of my United wingers want to, they are just interested in goals. Whether they can score or not, they will just shoot it. If it scores fine, if it doesn't, whatever. But that's not how these these men for this operate. The wingers that I've mentioned their name. That's not how they operate. They know how to score. So when it's time for them to score, they will score. When they know they cannot score, they will pass. So they'll do something else with the ball. But wingers, no way. So if you think I, I'm lying, let me know in the comment section. If I am lying about this, let me know in the comment section. Which of these wingers that I've mentioned, okay? which of our wingers, the ones we have in Manchester United, which of them is better than these players that I've mentioned? Let me hear your, your comments in the, the, in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Peace.